Well, this week, Pitt State players say Washburn is a little more physical this year. Would it be too much for the Gorillas? Sellout crowd here earlier at Carney Smith Stadium. Gorillas getting to work. John Roderick feeling some pressure early on. Roderick rolling to his right, finding Jeff Sabold open down the sideline, breaks a tackle, and he is brought down inside the five. That would lead to this four yard touchdown by Sabold. Five plays, 68 yard drive, hit leads, 7 0. But Washburn answers back themselves. This is a 10 yard, 10 play drive capped off by a Brandon Bourbon one yard touchdown run. Game tied at seven and the pit offense would begin to struggle in the second quarter john roderick roderick excuse me back to pass and he's intercepted it's his first of the season later on at the end of the half washburn driving again quarterback derek mcginnis rolling to his left firing for an 11 yard strike to anthony daniels for the touchdown the ichabods lead 14 to 7 at the half they would go on and upset the number four gorillas 28 to 21. Now, Missouri Southern welcoming University of Nebraska at Carning earlier, and Southern would strike early first quarter for T.J. Fleeton, and he would keep it himself. That's a one-yard run by the Lions quarterback, 7-0 Lions. Later in the first, Lopers Bronson Marsh connecting with Titus Mitchell for the eight-yard touchdown pass, tied ball game, 7-7. Later in the game, third quarter, Lions up 14-7, but the Lopers aren't backing down. Lopers Romero Cotton takes the handoff, gets some blocks, dies for the end zone, tied at 14 apiece, but later in the third, Southern up 17-14, Fleeton connecting with Nolan in the flat, and he's gone. That 73-yard pass leads the Lions tonight. They beat Lopers 24-14.